I can't believe it. We are here and they do have one. Okay, I was really thinking we're not gonna get to see one at all. Oh my god. They have one. Okay, I need to talk to somebody. everyone and welcome back to my channel so today is the 29th of July I know it's only gonna come out next week this video however what is happening on the 29th of July the new Louis Vuitton autumn winter collection is coming out and I can't wait to see those gorgeous flower bags in person Jessie from Jessie's style she already went in earlier today to her local boutique and she sent us that video and Jacob and I were like, ooh, yeah, that is pretty. So my issue is, you guys know I wanted that bag. However, if you look at the original pictures, the flowers were really purple. And you guys know I'm a sucker for everything pink and purple. And the purple was such a beautiful contrast to the golden canvas background. However, the actual final version um, is so yellow. You know, can you see the flowers are really yellow uh, and not purple at all? There's a little bit of purple in there, but not a lot. Um, so I'm gonna just go have a look at it in person, see how I feel <laughs> when I try the bag on and then make a decision. But I was a little bit underhelmed, unfortunately, I have to say, when I saw the final version of the bag. I preferred the runway version, yeah. So there's Harrods. Let's go and have a look. I just made it to Harrods and look at these fluffy little Fendi first bags. They are cute, I have to say. And look at this one as well, so bright. Yeah, quite cool. There's another one, guys. Is this real fur though? I mean, I wish they would use fake fur. Um, oh, that is one of the new models. I've only seen pictures online. I love this strap. I really like the strap. It's silver, gold, and tortoiseshell. Is this something that we need? <laughs> and there we have another little furry friend. Um, but it sits quite high under your armpit. <laughs> I think that's not the most comfortable bag. Couple more Fendi pieces. That's a nice color. I once had a micro in that color. New Chanel eye candy from Chanel 22B. So here we have a little small leather good and look the golden chain actually goes over into like a so black chain. That's cool. I feel like this jacket we have seen many seasons ago, right? This is not new, is it though? Let me get down here. It's a beautiful bag. Is it new? I feel like I've seen this before. Little new flap bag. I can't wait to hear what Chanel Harris is gonna say about the issues with my Chanel 22 bag. <laughs> I hope I'm gonna get a refund or a credit note at least, but who knows. So there we have a little Sherling, Shearling bag and a 19 wok. And some more Chanel eye candy. So this is a little, reminds me of the Bobby bag, right? From Dior, the half moon shape basically, and it's caviar leather. Another little small leather good. And a nice little tweed jacket. And guys, look at these colors. Hopefully my camera is focusing, yes. That is very beautiful colors. That's the sneak peek that we get. Are we ready for Louis Vuitton? Okay, so let's have a quick look at what's on display in general. Lots of little almas. How cute and how beautiful. This monogram reverse trunk slash luggage case. <laughs> and the little Vivian figures. And hi, I'm not the biggest fan of these puffy bags. I know they're all the hype at the moment. Okay, so Capucines, one of my favorite Louis Vuitton bags, of course. I have never seen this model before. It looks like Torian leather and some fabric on top. Really cool. And guys, look at this one with the rainbow handle. That is so beautiful, isn't it? I can't seem to find any of the new collections pieces. Where are they? And look at this one. I think that's relatively new as well. Okay guys, so unfortunately it seems like they only have the Speedy and Selfridges. I was really thinking like we have so many Louis Vuitton boutiques in London. I'm gonna somehow be able to see one. But Harrods like all oh, the pieces are sold out already. And I'm like, I thought not a lot of people are interested in this because you know, so many people said, oh, Romina, such grandma bags. Who would want such a grandma bag? But they're all sold out. And sparkles, sparkles. 
I love crystal bags. I think it's time sooner or later for me to also get a crystal bag. Quick stop at Gucci, guys. This one caught my eye. How pretty. Of course, it's exotic, but the color is just nice. You know, they made those in Python and Raffia, I guess. I still have the blondie bag, guys, but I don't know if it's gonna be only a love affair or like true love. <laughs> Will I like this one like in five years time? Okay guys, let me get a Starbucks coffee <laughs> and then we're gonna try and make our way as quickly as possible to Selfridges in the hopes of seeing some of the flower pieces. I mean, this will be a really disappointing vlog if we're not gonna see any of the new pieces. And we're here guys, exciting, exciting. Selfridges, let's go and see if we're still gonna get to see some extra flower bags today. Guys, I can't believe it, we are here and they do have one. <gasps> okay, I was really thinking we're not gonna get to see one at all. Oh my God, they have one. Okay, I need to talk to somebody and then we need to try it on. It is very yellow, isn't it? Do we like it, do we not like it? Let me know. She's just getting us the bag and why she's doing that. Let's have a quick look at these. Okay, I really like for the flowers. It's so beautiful, it's like a pop-up today. And there's my little bag. Okay hey guys, so here we are. I can't believe we're actually trying it on and we are still getting to see it. <laughs> so this is the only one left right now in the UK. However, they don't know if they're gonna get more in. Obviously today is the first day they're launching this collection. But can we please look at this? Let's take it all in for a second. It's gorgeous. I still don't know why they changed the purple flowers to yellow ones. It is gorgeous. The sides have these rainbow LV bits. Do I need it though? I think I was over the speedy, over Louis Vuitton monogram canvas. I never had a speedy bundle yet. I only had the nano speedy and the regular speedy 25. Obviously you couldn't wear it on a strap. Um, this is, I think, the longest length. It's obviously adjustable. Um, do we need it? Do we need it? Do we need it? Oh god, oh god. Somebody else is already interested in buying this bag. I don't know because the, the flowers are so yellow and I really like the purple contrast um, of the runway piece. I don't know why the final version now looks so yellow. You know, the canvas is beautiful, this golden shimmer, golden shine, can we see that? But do I need another speedy? I really thought I'm over the speedies. It's beautiful, like microfiber interior. Do I need another speedy? Do I need another speedy, guys? Oops. Somebody else is already like eyeing it and they want to buy this bag. <laughs> so I kind of need to make a decision. Do I want it? Do I not want it? Do I want it? Do I not want it? Do you think those are gonna be worth a lot um, in a couple of years? Because we know the Steven Sprouse rose never full and the other bags that Steven Sprouse brought out for Louis Vuitton. Um, well, the Steven Sprouse and Sprite ones, they shot through the roof, right? They are worth quite a lot nowadays. So I'm really wondering, is this a good investment piece? Are there more of these bags coming out? Okay, so here is the Neverfull and I have to say this is what I was hoping for. I was really hoping that they would have the golden bag with those like pinkish purplish flowers on top. Oh, the music is coming back. <laughs> so I think I like this a lot more. However, of course I wanted the gold canvas, not the silver canvas. And I'm pretty sure on Instagram I saw that this bag comes out in the PM size as well because obviously I have the MM. Do I need another MM? Obviously not. But they say the PM size is actually not coming out. Oh, they are gorgeous. However, is it necessary? Is it necessary? Let me know. These gorgeous pieces. Yeah, it's true. Okay, guys, now let's have a proper look around. Now that I tried the bags on, I feel like, okay, we got that footage. <laughs> Now we can have a proper look. It really looks like um, an oil painting, right? And these are more like bluish flowers. So she double checked. Um, all the flowers on the golden canvas are really way more yellow than what we saw on the runway. Sorry. Um, I don't know why, even in the lookbook, they look so different to now the final result. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here we have one of these new little trunks. That's incredible. This bag is new as well, I think. They had a vintage version of this and they reissued it now. This, guys, they have a proper pop-up 
for the new garden collection pieces. Wow, look at this beauty. Can we see all the shine and the shimmer? Oh, I can't believe it. Good that I still came to Selfridges because I was so disappointed after leaving Harold's. I really thought we're not gonna get to see anything. These are new as well? Oh yeah, it's like the croissant bag, but with these kind of like rainbow flowery logos. So the Neverfull doesn't seem to sell as quickly. Um, they only had one speedy left and they have six of these Neverfulls left in Selfridges. I really thought it comes out in the PM and but I mean you know the colors are not right in the lookbook and the sizes are not right so it seems to only come in the MM unfortunately. Um, that's the uh, on the go again and there guys we even have the loop bag. I have to say, now after seeing this, I don't know if I need a piece. Unfortunately, I really think I, you know, I don't have butterflies, what can I tell you? If there are no butterflies, then I guess it's not worth it, right? Um, I wanted the purple pink flowers on the gold canvas. That would have been the nicest, like, contrast. So many people. <laughs> um, so, never full. Don't really need the never full. Woo! Um, and you know, even the bucket bag, as she double checked, comes with like yellow flowers instead of pink purple flowers. So I'm not in love with it, what can I tell you? Um, I think I'm not gonna get a piece of this collection, even though I was so looking forward to it. From the moment I saw the pieces on the runway, I was like, wow, you know, this is so me, this is so my style with the flowers and it's a little bit grandma style, <laughs> you know, and I really was so hyped to see those bags for the first time in real life and now I just feel like don't really need it. Ready for some more Chanel 22B eye candy. Um, these are actually pieces we have not seen yet. So that is quite exciting. Can you see those buttons? That's a little bag, the CC, a camellia flower. Uh, look at this bag. I don't know why I like it. It also looks like this soft caviar leather that we've seen several times today. That's quite a cool bag. Um, what do we have here? Yeah, this is a little bit more exciting than, <laughs> than all the other stuff that we've seen today. Um, tiny little, this is like a mini version of the Bobby Chanel lookalike bag. Let's see what we have here. Oh, oh, oh wow. That is a Chanel 22 bag in velvet. But imagine how that's gonna wear. Yeah, with sequins, and especially because it's velvet material, it's gonna wear horribly there. I wonder if anybody is gonna buy it and then do a review. Looks nice, but I can see this wearing horribly, guys. Okay, so this doesn't convince me too much. Not very, not very excited about these pieces. Um, what is this? This is the teeny tiniest little bucket bag I've ever seen, I think. Can you see? It's just as big as the palm of a hand. Yeah. Ooh, glitter and glamour. This is very 1920s, right? Can we see that? It's full of little crystals. Interesting. I like the dress. I like the dress. I don't know why. I'm recently really into crystals. And a little bit more Chanel 22B. Um, again, this little bobby bag look-alike and I like the chain with all the hearts. This bag is not too bad, right? Let me try and get closer. It has like little chain around the edge. What is this creepy thing? <laughs> it's looking at you, it's looking at you, it's looking at you. Can you see how creepy that is? Look at some amazing quality bags, shall we? <laughs> so you guys know I love everything Bulgari. This is an interesting little bucket bag, right? Does it qualify as a bucket bag? I'm not sure. Very summery, but oh my god, look at these. How cute. I think we've seen this one with Dina before. I didn't know it comes in like an orange as well. Orange seems to be like a theme. And yellow. <laughs> oh wow, I've never seen this one. Can you see the glazing? It's green. It's a really nice contrast. They still have this beauty. Whenever I see it, I'm just like amazed. It is so stunning. Must take hours and hours and hours to make a bag like this. I've seen these in the Bulgari Hotel before on the press day. Now they are in the boutiques, guys. And look at this gorgeous little piece. 
think we've seen it before. So, oh, they even have the serpenti um, toads. No, not toads, sorry, pouches. <laughs> the serpenti pouches. And little gorgeous, like, oh, wow, that's like a gray purple. Really stunning. Bon appetit, no go. Look at this. What is this? <laughs> Milo the monkey, I guess. I don't know it. Milo the monkey? Okay, you had a t shirt? I had a t shirt, a little ninja one. <laughs> like this thing? Oh, it's cute. I usually don't like monkeys, but that's cute. We just walked past this art gallery, and what did you say? That's Johnny Depp's painting. That's Johnny Depp's paintings. And I was wondering, because he made, what, three million with his paintings or so? It all, it's only £4,000, and it looks like it is painted. It's not a print, so... Well, it's, it's part print, I think. Yeah. Silk screen on Silk paper. Silk screen on paper, limited edition, 195. So he painted 195 of these, and there are more, actually. You can see them from here. These are all Johnny Depp's artworks. There, guys. Johnny Depp. So we just had a really good dinner, right? Stuffed. <laughs> really stuffed. That was it for today. I, um, yeah, I didn't have butterflies, I have to tell you, when I saw the bag. It was not as expected. It didn't look at all like it looked on the runway. I mean, I was so, you know, like fire when I first saw it. I was like, oh, I need this bag. But the, 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 the yellow on gold doesn't really pop, you know. Purple on gold would have been so amazing. Then again, the silver never full. Don't want it, you know, I have a never full. Um, so yeah, I can't believe I walk out of this without getting any of the flower bags because I love flowers, right? So many grandma bags. <laughs> you said it no this time. I said it no, but I'm, I'm proud of that. Yeah, okay, nonetheless, I hope that you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease. Yes, we do. And I see you again very, very soon. Bye.